Today we're exploring the Yorkshire Dales, a stunning region of Northern England known for its rolling hills, quaint villages, and picture-perfect scenery. We're actually taking our friends along with us who have never been to the UK before, and I'm just really excited to explore the charming towns here and just taking in all of the, the beautiful scenery and all the sheep we're gonna see. But let's be honest, you're really the most excited about the sheep. Yeah, that's fair. We are now in the beautiful town of Grassington. We stopped at this place called the Black Horse Hotel. that has a lovely pub and we had some delicious pies. Now we're gonna check out the rest of the, the town. So I guess this uh, was the town of Darrowby in All Creatures Great and Small, which uh, we have not watched that show yet, but we have it on our list. And I'm excited uh, because they're actually, I guess, filming here today while we're here. So that is really cool. Or they're at least setting up uh, some scenes. So how neat that we're here while they're filming. It's so fascinating. I've never seen them covering up like signs and things like that before. Yeah, we've never seen them like dressing a set somewhere. It's pretty cool. It's really neat. <laughs> Looks like they've already dressed this side. How neat. Should have sat outside at that pub. That would have been the great view for it. <laughs> what are the odds that we came here when they're getting ready to film? I guess the actual filming is tomorrow is what we heard somebody saying. I didn't realize when we got here that they had already dressed uh, one section of the street. And so this little old timey sweets and tobacco store is actually the post office. D didn't even pay attention to that when we got here, but I can understand why they use this as a filming location because it is just like the <coughs> cutest, most picturesque town, like maybe one of the most picturesque we've ever been to in the UK. I can't say that I've ever seen a hump zebra crossing sign before. I don't think that I've ever even seen a hump oh, zebra before. Broken. pretty incredible that you can walk from here all the way up to the Lake District. Wow. Even the car park has fantastic views. We're heading to our destination for the evening, but unfortunately they're keeping road closures. We've taken multiple detours now today. Uh, we just pulled off on the side of the road just to get out and stretch our legs for a minute. Carly, what do you think? And there's this beautiful viaduct and we just happened to time it where a train was going over it. So that was pretty neat. There's sheep on the side of the road. There are like cool rock structures and rock formations. This is just some of the most beautiful landscape I have seen here in England. And also some of the most terrifying roads I've been on here in England as well. The detours didn't help that. <laughs> We have come to the town of Askrig. This right here behind me is the Skeldell House. This is where we'll be sleeping tonight, but you may recognize it if you have seen All Creatures Great and Small. This is the veterinary surgery from the show, and it is uh, seven apartments that you can stay in here in the Dales. Let's go check out our room. I love that they have this old car out front, it's so cool. Oh, Carly's made herself right at home already. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to my new house. Welcome to the Tricky Woo Suite. This is where Jeremy and Carly and I will be spending the evening. It is a huge one bedroom apartment. It has this enormous living space in here. It has a full kitchen. The kitchen area is huge. There are, is seating for four people here, so we can have a little party with our friends later. There is a deep sink, there's a cooktop, there's an oven, there's even an espresso machine, which I don't think we've ever stayed in at any hotel or anything that's had an actual espresso machine in the room, so that's a big bonus. I love that there is a huge deep tub inside of the bedroom, plus there's also a full bathroom that has a shower separately from this. It's just a lovely place. I love all of the decor in here. It's just a mix of vintage. It's really cool. Oh, this is maybe the most comfortable bed that we've had on our trip so far. It is so cushy and lovely. I think we are gonna sleep well tonight. I 
have to give a huge shout out to Maison Parfait, the uh, company that helped us out with this room. Actually, one of our viewers, Tom, reached out to us, said that he watches our channel and uh, offered to facilitate a room for us. Uh, they have properties all over Yorkshire. We happened to be taking a trip here to the Yorkshire Dales. And so they hooked us up with both this room and our friend's room. And I love our friend's room too. Let's show you that next. Our friends are staying in the Harriet suite tonight. This is a large family studio. It has a kitchen and it has a nice big bathtub and it has a pull out couch so that uh, our friend's daughter can sleep there. How do you like your room? Well, I love my room. I feel like it's just like an open space that I can like do a bunch of stuff. Yeah, so much room for activities. Yep. <laughs> The next morning. Good morning. Oh wow, I have not slept that well in a long time. I am a little bit sad that we're leaving this place because it has just been such a perfect, relaxing place to stay. We just had like a nice, chill night in the little communal area. Had the Prosecco that they provided. It's been lovely. Um, honestly, I don't know that we would have known about this place had uh, we not had Tom reach out to us and tell us about it, but I am so glad that we did stay here because I loved it so much. I can't wait to check out some of the other properties that they have. We love uh, Whitby. We went to Whitby last year and we have been told to check out Robin Hood's Bay. So I think we'd love to stay at one of their properties in that area, but they have them all over Yorkshire. If you're planning any trips to Yorkshire, you should check out their website. We'll leave a link below uh, because these properties are as luxurious as their website says. We've come to Aidsgarth Falls car park. There are all kinds of hikes that you can do in this area, including three different waterfalls that you can walk to, the upper, middle, and lower falls of Aesgarth Falls. Uh, our friend isn't feeling so well this morning. She has a migraine, so we're probably just gonna do the shortest one down to the upper falls, down to the upper falls, up to the upper falls. <laughs> there are all kinds of other hikes, including I think around a six mile hike to Bolton Castle, which the gentleman at the visitor center was telling us was a really nice hike with lovely views. The visitor center itself is pretty cool. There's like a little interactive exhibit, which was a fun time for our pal Quinn here. Interesting that this area has an access fee. I haven't seen something like this before. Is that because it's private land here or does the park run this? I didn't see anything about it until we got over here that it would cost to go into that section. Worth the one pound to see it from this spot. She's got wet feet. Uh-oh, uh-oh. How is that? How is your dip in the waterfall? It's cold. Cold? <laughs> Very cold. Oh wow, there's all kinds of picnic benches up here. You can have a nice little picnic. Just a really peaceful area. The gentleman at the visitor center told us that if we uh, came up to the upper falls that we needed to come to this little bridge. It is a bridge, so you have to be careful and watch for cars, but it has a fantastic view of upper falls from the bridge. And there's a cute little tea shop right next door too. Scones, yes please. Plus it's in an old mill, so I'm all about it. Let's go to the traditional tea shop. day better. That's a proven fact, I think, at this point. My tea is really nice, too. It's funny because when we went and looked for British groceries in the U.S., we asked you what would be the one thing from home that you would need if you were in another country, and like 99% of you said tea. Tea is what you would bring with you, and that some of you do. And the number one answer of tea was Yorkshire tea, uh, which I feel a little bit bad because we're in Yorkshire and I'm having a different kind of tea. I'm having Cornish tea, but it's really lovely, so it's okay. <laughs> Quinn, how's your hot chocolate? So my hot chocolate was great. It is great. I have like a brownie with it and like, it's 
just great. You have all the chocolate? <laughs> yeah. Hot chocolate, white chocolate, dark chocolate, milk chocolate. Perfect. And just chocolate. Chocolate, chocolate. How do you like that? It's pretty good. We were trying to figure out how old this mill was because it is very cool and old looking inside. I guess it, this, this version dates back to 1854. It replaced another one and I guess there was some kind of mill here e even dating back to medieval times. So it's pretty, pretty neat that now it's a tea shop and uh, apparently there's also a little like art gallery here as well. I am so excited to try some Wensleydale cheese here at the Wensleydale Creamery. I think we've had a lot of people reach out and tell us, you know, we should definitely check this place out if we're in the area. And I'm all about it. While I am a fan of pretty much all cheeses, I'm pretty excited that this is the favorite cheese of the animated duo Wallace and Gromit. That's how you know it's good cheese. Because it's their favorite. <laughs> There's a whole cheese tasting experience you can do, or you can come to a little cheese ch shop and do a little sampling on your own, like we're gonna do. Take one of those and stab a cheese. Take this. Take that one cheese is dead. How is it? Okay. Crumbly? Not your favorite? Not my favorite. <laughs> okay. I really like that classic Wensleydale. It's like nice and creamy. It's just got like a nice mild flavor. It's a little chef's kiss for me. Do you like blue cheese? I haven't tried it before. I don't know that you'll like it, but you could try it if you want to. Okay. I'm gonna try not to get a big one. You seem to like it better than the classic Wensleydale. Oh no! Better. Oh no, nope. you got the blue. <laughs> you got the blue. Oh my gosh, that cheddar is so good. That might be my favorite. This is from the Yorkshire Creamery. You like that one? <laughs> Every single one of those cheeses was so good. I would happily have gone home with any one of them, but uh, Jeremy is, and I are gonna swap um, with the dogs because uh, he's outside with Carly. So we'll see if he ends up buying anything. And as you would expect, the gift shop has all the Wallace and Gromit gifts you need. <laughs> what was your favorite? Probably the orange one, the, the double cheddar, I think. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that one good. was probably my favorite because it was tasted similar to American cheddar. Yeah, probably closest to American cheddar, which I love American cheddar. Mm -hmm. And like most of them, I didn't like. Some of them, I still got the taste in them, and I hate that. <laughs> what was your favorite cheese you sampled? I don't know. Oh, they were all, really, all good. really good. Like literally every single one of them, I was like, "This is delicious. This is delicious." Um, I ended up with the Wensleydale Blue. Yeah, I figured you'd get that. Because, you know, blue cheese. <laughs> oh, the naturally oak smoked Okay, cheddar. all right. I thought that one tasted like a Tillamook cheddar one that's similar, anyway. And the Fountain, Fountain's Gold Cheddar. Ah, oh, that one was nice. They were all like really, really good. I could yeah. have bought some of all of them. As far as the Wensleydale goes, there is an old style one that I thought was really super rich. I would have picked that one out if I, oh, I had uh, chosen that. I mean, it's okay. I'm not, I'm not disappointed in any of the ones you got. <laughs> <laughs> we've had a wonderful kind of just low key day here. I think we've learned about the Yorkshire Dells that you don't really even have to do a lot. It's just beautiful and calming and there's a lot of good food and we just loved our time here. If you have suggestions for the next time we're here, please let us know because we will definitely be back. This has been a lovely experience. If you haven't checked out our video about Whitby, it's right here and you should check it out. Thank you to our patrons for always supporting us. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time in Scotland. <laughs>